Hola, Portugal, and hello, Eurovision fans. I have landed in Lisbon and am here on this gorgeous pedestrian street, How Augusta, which is Augusta in our language, English, honey. Now, this is a fantastic shopping thoroughfare, mosaic tiles everywhere. You look around, you see people eating at cafes, snacking, having beers, and we are here because there is a rumor that this street will play host to the Eurovision 2018 red carpet which takes place on the Sunday before the Tuesday of the semi-final. At the end of the street, you will see this glorious arch. This is their Arc de Triomphe. It celebrates their victories of the past. Which victories? I do not know. But I know that it is lovely. You can climb to the top and actually get a 360 degree panoramic view of the city. It is amazing. We're going to head up there right now. At the end of this street, oh, there is a man. At the end of this street, there is actually this Commerce Square and you know this was the site of a royal palace that burnt down they rebuilt it but it may play host to Eurovision Village let's check it out Ooh, we have climbed those stairs and made it to the top of the arc. There are lots of Dutch tourists here taking in the scenery. Behind me, you'll see Rua Augusta, which we just walked down. And over here, the beautiful Portuguese landscape, Lisbon cityscape, a stunning church. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we walk this way, we'll actually have the aerial view of Commerce Square. This is where they rumor, or the rumor says that the Eurovision 2018 Eurovision Village will be. The people look like ants. They are so tiny, crawling, chasing that sugar, darling. You can see, is that the Tagus River? Oh wow, it looks like the ocean, but it is the Tagus River. There are boats cruising. There are people cruising too. So we have made it down from the top of the Ark. It was amazing. I could see Globen Arena in Stockholm. We were so high and I could hear that Europop realness. Now we've actually arrived in Commerce Square and as you can see, it's really well preserved. It burnt down, the palace rather, burnt down that was here in the late 18th century and they remodeled it, creating this gorgeous rectangle. It's kind of like a U. This side is missing so I can see out onto the Tagus River. Here is a glorious equestrian statue harking back to when this country had a king but now it is just full of queens for Eurovision 2018. Now there are lots of people touting sunglasses. Oh now obrigado. No thank you. No thank you. Um, so yeah this is going to be a major hub of activity during Eurovision. There's lots of restaurants, lots of shoe shops, lots of fashion shops. It's going to be fab. Lots and lots of tourists. Now on the river you can actually take riverboat cruises so you can go down, see the city through that watery thoroughfare. We're not sure what this will be used for during Eurovision, but we know the city has given it to the Eurovision committee for 10 days, which makes people think that it will be home to Eurovision Village, and it would be amazing. We could see a fantastic amphitheater here, people on stage performing, looking out onto uh, Rua Augusta. Now, we just had a thought. We left Commerce Square, and we came to the Tagus River, and there's actually this lovely little docking area. At night, people make music, they come, they have romantic kisses, they sell stuff. You could have the Eurovision stars arrive by boat, step up these steps, enter, you know, Rua Augusta, take their march. It could be absolutely stunning, could it not? We're hoping, we're praying. Who knows what will happen? I am in Avenida Avenue. This is a central, glorious, stunning thoroughfare here in downtown Lisbon. And if you're going to Commerce Square by car, you are likely to pass this. You will note the very fantabulous obelisk white celebrating June 17th of 1665. I don't know the significance and neither do the Portuguese I have asked, so look on Wikipedia. Behind me is the Hard Rock Cafe where we may throw a wee wee jam in 2018. We haven't decided. It has multiple levels. There's a car attached to the wall. It's really popular among locals. Behind me you're going to see another gorgeous tree-lined boulevard. Trees are very important to the Portuguese. Jerez National Park in the north, they take great pride in their nature, their natural landscapes, and they're preserving that here in the capital. Capital. To my right, you can't really see it, but there is a hill with kind of cable cars that take you up into the northern reaches of the city. The bottom line is there is sunshine, there is warmth, and there's a Starbucks, and I'm gonna go have a caramel popcorn frappuccino right now.